New Red Dead Online's monthly event has double gold, triple money and even quadruple experience for some activities. So it might look like a great monthly event, but only for people who never played this game. Like that person who made these bonuses, I guess. Anyway, it's another not impressive monthly event in Red Dead Online, second in a row. But there are a few good bonuses for beginners and even one good bonus for high level players. The problem is high level players don't need any bonuses, we need new content. Anyway, let's Let's begin with discounts. First of all, there is a discount on all melee weapons. Then we have a good discount for beginners, I will definitely use it on my low level account. 40% off all shotguns and shotgun ammo. According to my tests, it's a pretty close choice which shotgun to buy, but you might just buy pump action and you will be fine. Next we have a discount on improved bow, it has lower damage than regular bow, but much much higher painted black range. And since in PvE it's still gonna be a headshot from any distance, with a discount it's a good choice and later you will be able to customize it, unlike regular bow. Arrows are also on discount. Then we have a discount on hunting knife style customizations, shotgun style customizations and also bandoliers, boots and hats. Just remember that bandoliers are simply a cosmetic item, they are not allowing you to carry more ammo, you need to buy special pamphlets at fence to do that. And the last discount you might find that stables and finally we should not be worried that we will get stuck there, this bug was fixed. Anyway, it's 30% off Arabian horses, but even with this discount it's not necessary to spend your gold on black Arabian, because with good saddle, necodoches and best steer wraps, any horse will be not worse than Arabian. So buy it only if you like how it looks. And also you can fast travel for free this month and this one is actually good for beginners. We recently had this bonus, but Rockstar loves to repeat it and I'm fine with that. Now let's take a look at different rewards. For taking part in any free ROM event each week, you will be receiving different rewards. First week of this monthly event, a pair of red and orange furred gloves. Second week, an offer for 40% off an ability card upgrade. Third week, a pair of black pelt half chops. And the last week, three fire bottles and three toxic moonshine. Why only three? They cost like nothing. But anyway, next we have another weird one. Purchase a weapon modification to receive 50 repeater and 50 rifle high velocity ammo. Okay, next rewards are better. Craft an item in gas store to receive an offer for 50% off the navy revolver. It's a really good weapon and with 50% discount just a must have. Then complete a new source of employment mission, it's a telegram mission, to receive the north tumbleweed treasure map. It's also a good one because as you will see later, this month we have other reasons to complete telegram missions. Then reach wave 10 in call to arms to receive red and orange Ortega vest and the last one complete 3 daily challenges to receive an offer for 40% off a quad premium cigarettes and the reward for 5000 experience points. I like this one because 5000 experience points is good for beginners, it might be few levels, plus it will encourage them to complete daily challenges. And you know having a daily challenge streak is a great way to make a lot of gold in Red Dead Online. Anyway, just like with the discounts, rewards are a mixed bag this month because some are relatively good and some are just pathetic. And now let's take a look at returning limited time clothing and community inspired outfit that you can get for free. Just go through the catalog and search for items that have this icon and price of zero dollars. And yes, even if you don't match the level requirement yet, you still can get these items for free, just try to use gold and it should show you that the price in gold is also zero gold bars. So community inspired outfit this month looks like this, nothing special, but for beginners it's fine. And as for retuning limited time clothing, we have four different items. Carver pants, Eberhardt 
coat, Strickland boots and the best choice for cowboys gardenia hat. Not the best looking items in my opinion and most of them can be purchased only with gold, but better than nothing I guess. And speaking about that, time to take a look at bonuses and extra payouts. First of all we have quadruple experience but only on free roam events. No money, no gold, only quadruple experience and it's not like you were making a lot of experience during this events. So even 4 times more experience is an okay bonus but not a game changer. I mean if it were double payout including experience for collector role, just like many players expected including me, it would on practice bring you more extra experience and I'm not even talking about money. Actually you know what I think it's for the first time ever in Red Dead Online we don't have any bonuses or discounts on roles for 2 months in a row. But maybe bonus bonuses that we received this month can compensate it? Well, not really, because there are double money and experience, again, not gold on featured PvP series. This bonus happens almost every month, so it's not something special. On the other hand, in the featured PvP series there will be hardcore PvP series, which is good for beginners, because you know there is no auto aim, no tonics, no dead eye ability cards or any other ability cards. Everyone is using using the same weapons, so it's all about the skill, not about your level. But without double gold it's still not the best money making method. Next bonus I personally was glad to see, but it's not for beginners, it's more for high level players. Because it's double gold and double ability card experience for call to arms, and double gold in call to arms is always great, but matchmaking is still the same, it's pretty much non-existent for call to arms, so if you don't have any friends, you will almost always have to play Call to Arms solo and playing this mode alone is really challenging for beginners and just not worth it, even with double gold. So to be honest, this bonus is good, but only for high levels and for players who have a lot of friends who still play Red Dead Online. Now next bonuses will be more useful for beginners. First of all, it's triple money and experience for free roam missions, also known as stranger missions. This one is not as good as it might look, simply because regular payouts for stranger missions are really low. So with triple money and experience, they are just fine. But next bonuses are better. First of all, it's also triple money and experience for land of opportunity missions which is basically a story mode for Red Dead Online. Payouts here are higher, but on practice you will not earn too much money with them, because there are loading screens, waiting time, you cannot play them solo, you need at least one other player, and cutscenes, but overall it's a good bonus. And the last bonus is probably the best for beginners, triple money and experience for telegram missions. To start telegram missions just open left menu and you will find them there. Anyway, some telegram missions have a relatively good payouts on a ruthless difficulty. Obviously not as good as for legendary bounties or opportunity missions, but better than blood money contracts or regular bounty missions. And yeah, ruthless difficulty might be too challenging for beginners, but many telegram missions can be completed in full stealth. For example, on your screen now you can see a link to a step-by-step -step guide full solo and full stealth for one of such missions. And with triple money payout is pretty good for beginners. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.